Hey guys, today is a day in America, they call it Columbus Day, Columbus the Italian um, trader came here, he's very well celebrated, but we call it Indigenous Nations Day or Indigenous Peoples Day, and um, what happened today is very much a shame in San Francisco um, because the indigenous peoples used to go to Alcatraz to watch the sunrise. It's a very sacred site for them. A prison was built on top of it and a statue of a sailor's there. It's really a weird place. Um, it does not belong to this country. It belongs to the original peoples. But they've taken all our sacred sites, it seems. It would be like if someone came into your land. I'm sure everyone has a sacred space they go to and took your places or your churches or your temples. Well, that's what they did to us on this day. And I'm going to leave you an article on what they did here on Alcatraz. Well, what they did, the Park Service closed this island. And... Um, wouldn't let the in well that's due to this shutdown because the national parks still have this and aim uh went there and they are going to i hope they did this i don't know in san francisco dismantled the statue of the sailor um so let's hope that happened i'm not sure it did but alcatraz island is operated by the national park service the island is closed and so, instead of the American Indian community is going to have their sunrise gathering at, at, um, at a regular annual launching to Alcatraz Island at Pier 31, and they did that this morning, um, and AIM was there, that's the American Indian Movement, um, the theme includes addressing 521 years of toll taken by the indigenous peoples of the Western Hemisphere, the forced removal from traditional lands, violations of treaty rights, and the desecration of burial and sacred sites, to name a few. And I'm going to leave this link for you. It's a short link. You can read about it, what they did. I just um, wanted to let you know that due to the shutdown, people are just the indigenous peoples. I mean, I know that regular peoples are taking down at some of the veterans' memorials <clears throat> the barricades and stuff, and going in for the veterans, but the indigenous peoples aren't as fortunate. They can't go to their sacred sites and get to them. They are turned away. They have actually no food or heat going to them right now, no monies whatsoever. They were part of this, the discarded uh, peoples. The Bureau of Indian Affairs was a non-essential um, part of the government. So right now, the Bureau of Indian Affairs is um, not getting what they are supposed to provide to the families um, on the Indian res to them. And that would be helping them heat their houses, um, food, and just basic, the basic things to sustain their life. So um, just letting you guys know, heads up on this uh, National Indigenous Day because I will never call it Columbus Day. I just, uh, I don't even like the way I even did this video. I don't know why I did it. It's kind of a mean thing for me to do in a way, but it's really sad when we can't go to our sacred sites, yet they're all banned from us. Yet, if, if just think of the government, some of you Christians, and, and you're, a lot of you are my friends, if the government's banned you from going to church... How would you feel in your heart? How would you feel? And what if they moved you because you felt bad about it onto a reservation? Then how would you feel? It's almost getting to that point for you guys too. So think about these things. Maybe you should stand up with us. I'm reaching the hand across the aisle to anyone who would like to. I'm out of here.